Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. It's a little, a little foggy, a little misty today. A little foggy and misty. All right, who's going to jump on with us? All right, there's Dorney. Old Faithful. First one on every morning. What's up, Dawn? Over here in Bay Park this morning. It's a little misty. Still pretty, though. Dancing in the rain this morning. Dancing in the rain. We need these rainy days to appreciate the sunny days. Oh, we got a boat coming. A little morning ride over here. A little jealous. Go for a little boating. All right. Who else is getting on? We can't get going until Kevin Brady gets on. Where's Kevin Brady? All right, let's get moving. Good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. The force of average still got most of the crew, but Janine made it. Father Eugene had to do mass this morning, so uh, he couldn't make it. And then uh, he's, I believe, doing Tommy's funeral mass. Uh, we're involved in that tomorrow, so for the next two days he's not available. But we'll give him the pass. He's got to do God's work. So, uh, but we're up here this morning. It's news one time this morning. Then said, "What am I doing?" And got out of bed before it went off the second time because uh, we don't hit snooze on life. We wake up and we ride at dawn every day, all day. So uh, we need a message for you today. Let's see. Message today is it's not done until it's done and follow through so i had a listing that i put up and uh we've had an open house and uh, we had a bunch of people there we had offers and we got an accepted offer and started going through the process and found out that the uh, pre-approval was bogus and the deal fell apart so then we went to the second offer and uh they decided at the last minute they wanted to buy another house. So boom, we're back in recovery mode, open house again. So we do an open house again. We got a bunch more people. We get some more offers. Uh, that round of offers, we got someone else that was interested. They're playing games back and forth. Skip over them. So now we're on the fourth offer. Fourth offer, they come in. They come up in price. We negotiate it. We get it accepted. Uh, now it goes to the attorney dance, I call it. So the attorneys are dancing with someone for about two weeks. Um, everyone's posturing. Uh, I wanted to say this, I wanted to say that, back and forth, on vacation, all a bunch of nonsense. So the deal floats for two weeks, waiting for contracts to go. Uh, at the end of two weeks, last Friday, I get word that, okay, everything's settled, they're going to sign on Monday. I get the call, phone call Monday that... They decided they don't want the house anymore. So my thoughts are they probably went out this weekend and, and found the house they like better, put an offer and got accepted. So here I am. The house has been on the market probably at least a month now. And uh, we're back to zero again. And that's real estate life for us. So what do I do? So I had another house that we accepted an offer on and I had a backup buyer that was solid. I had vetted both of them. So I called that person up and I said, hey, listen, I got a house for you. I said, this is the deal. This is what's accepted. Uh, Come look at it if you want it. We'll change the names on the contract and we will make it yours. So I like working with uh, agents that, that get it done. So this agent is aggressive and her clients are actually on vacation and can't see the house. But she knows that when we do an open house this weekend, it's going to be gone. So she decides to go meet me this afternoon and she's going to FaceTime them. I gave them the 3D tour of the house so they were able to walk through the house in 3D. Uh, they like the house from that. So now she's going to go live on FaceTime and while they're on vacation, she's going to go over the house with them. And if everything goes well, we're doing a home inspection tonight at 530. So that's how you make it work. That's how um, you avoid being an average realtor. Um, 
I like working with realtors that, that are like me, that, uh, that hustle, that I like doing. Um, we go out of our way for our clients. We do what it takes. We think outside the box. We don't give up. Um, and that parallels us to life. Um, first of all, it's not done until it's done. So until those contracts are signed, the house isn't sold. So, um, you know, in your life, until the deal is 100% complete and you follow through 100%, you can't give up. You can't take your foot off the gas until you're at the finish line. A lot of times we get halfway there, we get three quarters there, and then we start relaxing, we start chilling out, and we kind of, you know, go along for the ride. And when we take our foot off the gas, that's when things fall apart. So when we're doing a task, when whatever we're doing in life, don't take your foot off the gas. Take it right to the end. Take it right to the finish line. Um, make sure the deal is done before you take your foot off the gas. And continue to follow through. Um, when we start things in life, relationships, um, business deals, um, the devil's in the details. You have to follow through. You have to make sure all the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed because uh, when, you, when you don't follow through, when you take your foot off the gas, that's when everything falls apart. Um, you know, when, you, uh, when you're married and you take your foot off the gas and you stop paying attention to your spouse and you let the kids get in the way and you let life get in the way and you let work get in the way, things fall apart. You take your foot off the gas. So uh, whatever it is in life, make sure you're always following through. Do it 100%. Do it till it's finished. Do it all the way. Don't give up. Don't take your foot off the gas. And get it done. Get it done. Avoid the force of average. So this morning, uh, Janine gave me a shirt from a friend of ours, Andrew Liakos, who uh, has a company called Midnight Platoon. Got uh, one of his logos over here, if you can see it. Uh, he's a police officer, and he has a line of clothing, uh, pretty much uh, life and police related. Uh, thin blue line type stuff and we got one of his shirts on today and this one uh is a throwback from about a year ago uh in the fight six feet away so uh this time last year we were in the height of covid and the world was ending according to everybody and uh we didn't take our foot off the gas and we got through it and uh here we are today back uh living life again everything's opening up and uh we had a little wake up call in life that uh it's time to uh, start paying attention that life is fragile and uh, we need to <clears throat> enjoy every minute of it. Um, myself, it was a wake up call to me. Uh, I wasn't where I wanted to be. A uh, bunch of things went on in my life. Decided to make a change, decided to get in shape, decided to lose weight, decided to grow my brain, um, my business, um, my friends, and uh, concentrate on life a little bit more. Stop going through the motions, stop in the uh, riding the hamster wheel. So, um, yeah, so uh, six feet away, thank God we're past that, but uh, don't forget the lesson that that gave us. Um, concentrate on life, don't miss it, it goes fast, and it's fragile. So, all right, everyone, that said, uh, Janine's here, so I don't know, we should put her on the spot, or we're going to put Janine on the spot again. Let's jump in here with prayers. Father Eugene, you got you to gotta stand in for Father Eugene today, that's, that's some big shoes to fill. Big shoes to fill. Um, big to fill. Yeah, big helmet to fill. Yeah, there we go. In the Father's name, Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy will be done on earth, on earth as, as in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Yesterday they had the um, anniversary mass in Central Park for Stephen McDonald and the anniversary of the day that he was shot. And it's amusing to think that all these years later, they still gather together and mark that date um, because it changed the course of history, changed the course of our small town in Malvern. Um, many of us stopped to smell the roses big time after that. That was sort of groundbreaking for a lot of people. But Brian talks about Stephen a lot on our rides because we go past a lot of things that now mark his name, the McDonald Pond or the Memorial Garden at Westwood Park. Uh, and what a great example of a human he was to kind of follow and emulate. So just keep Patty in your prayers because I feel like no matter how many years later, that day has to just be unbelievable in magnitude mentally to think about.
Yes. Yep, definitely. He's a good man. Spread love, forgiveness, and uh, that's it. That's how we have to live our lives. Uh, we got a wake today for uh, Tommy Winters, Melbourne police officer, taken way too soon. Um, so keep uh, the Winters families in your prayers. Um, funeral tomorrow, St. Agnes. Um, yeah, some tough stuff out there. So life is fragile. So don't waste it. Live every minute to the fullest. Don't take your foot off the gas. And uh, go out there and get some. All right, everyone. <clears throat> Have a happy Tuesday. Dance in the fog, dance in the rain. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning, we are back here again. Then I fly out to Texas, going to Dallas. Apex meetup, quarterly meetup. Going to see a bunch of awesome people. Fill my brain with some awesomeness. Do some networking. We will be uh, in the gym Wednesday morning with Mark, and he's gonna kick my butt, and we are gonna ride on the bike Thursday morning, Thursday morning. And uh, the fitness ninja, uh, make good choices. So that'll be Thursday morning, I'll come live. Texas time is uh, an hour different, so it'll be 7.30 when I go on at 6.30 there, because I'm not going at 5.30, because then you'll see me in bed. So uh, we'll go on at 7.30 for Thursday and Friday. Um, Friday, I got plans to hopefully go ride uh, the lake with some friends, and then flying back Friday night. Saturday morning, I'm going to ride quick in Malvern, and I'm going to blast upstate to Lake George to spend a day with my son for his birthday Saturday, and then my birthday Sunday, and come back and... We got five days of running and craziness, but that's what I do. So um, anyway, I hope everyone has a great day. Uh, join us for the ride, 6 a.m. tomorrow. We'll be up here about 6.30, 6.40. And I uh, appreciate all you getting on. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all the messages everyone's sending me. Um, please like and love and comment on here. It helps Facebook send it out to the world so more people get the message. Um, if there's anything you need in life, please reach out to me. I'm here for you. All right, everyone. God bless. Live it to the fullest. Don't take your foot off the gas. Let's go.